Hi everyone, and welcome to another A and B Horror Movies video. I'm Aaron. I'm Ben. And today we are joined by some of the cast members of Valentine Bluffs, the My Bloody Valentine fan film that is avail available to watch on YouTube. Welcome everyone. Thank Hello. you, thank you, thank, thank you, Brian. And before we get into uh, some of the questions, I just want to go through and uh, well, thank you for being here. I just want to go through and introduce Bye. everyone quickly. Um, we have Roland Keller. You are an actor and producer. You play uh, Murphy in Valentine's Bu Valentine Bluffs. <laughs> I even practice saying that. Um, Me, sir. <laughs> you've also uh, produced uh, some awesome films, including The Sawyer Massacre. Um, we actually had Steve Merlot on a few months ago to talk about that movie. Um, so welcome. We're really happy to uh, talk with you today. Thank you, sir. Uh, next up, we have Christy Adams. You play Lisa in Valentine Bluffs. See, I got it right. Um, you are on Instagram as uh, Night Nightmare Christy. I apologize, Nightmare Christy. Um, and you're also the face of Nightmare Toys, which is an awesome store in Las Vegas. Um, if you're not familiar with it, look it up. Uh, welcome, Christy. Hello. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Uh, and lastly, we have Joe uh, Quick, who is an actor. Um, you played Peter in Valentine Bluffs. Uh, you're a huge horror fan, as we are too, so you're in good company here. Um, and actually, I forgot to mention this, you, you and Roland are both or were professional wrestlers, which is quite amazing. Um, we'll have to talk about that in a few minutes. Uh, so quick introduction there. Um, again, thank you for talking with us today. Ben, I'll turn it over to you to ask uh, the first question. Okay. Um, so thank you for coming on anyway to all of you. Um, so uh, I'll start with a question to Roland. Um, as you were the producer, how did the idea of coming come round to doing a fan film um, of this kind? Are you, are you a big fan of Bobby Bloody Valentine or was it just something? Yeah, uh, My Bloody Valentine is definitely one of my favorite 80 slashers. Um, I'm a big horror fan in general. The idea sparked from Tom Smith, the writer, director, special effects artist, who met Chuck Ryan, our minor and producer, at a convention a few years prior. And when Tom had the initial idea of doing a fan film, he was going to do either a Texas Chainsaw Massacre fan film because he had access to a meat house or My Bloody Valentine because we live in a coal mining town. And it just so happened the pieces came together at the perfect time. He met this cosplayer, Chuck Ryan, who his attention to detail was just insane, absolutely amazing. And they sparked a friendship and a few months of back and forth. And uh, next thing you know, Tom had a little sh short script idea was I think it was around 15 to 20 pages at that time. And then Tom and I, we were doing some films back and forth. Um, I was just brought on as an actor, but little by little, we started talking and realized that we had very similar interests and I wanted to be behind the camera and I just wanted to be creative. I wanted to take control of my career because, you know, as a, as an independent artist in any genre, especially in acting, it's really hard to get roles, number one, but it's, so you have to kind of create your own your own path, you know what I mean? You have to make your own things and put yourself out there. You have to, you are your business, you know what I mean? You have to create those opportunities for yourself. So that's when Tom and I started discussing, like maybe I could come on as a producer or assistant special effects artist or help out with lighting, all this stuff. Cause all these things I'm really interested in. And I've been on sets for a long time and I always try and pay attention to every different aspect. And I pick up a little something every time I'm on a set. Um, so I've carried that over. And now we have our own production company and we're looking forward to doing uh, some other stuff down the line. But yeah, it basically came awesome. from just a little small idea and a cosplayer and some kid who was stupid enough to say yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Well, and we're glad uh, it all worked out. Um, the film is a fun watch. If anyone who is a fan of My Bloody Valentine has to uh, check it out. So, Christy, I have a question for you. I understand this was your first acting role. Yes. Can you yes. Uh, can you say a little bit about what were some of the challenges with that, and and what were, uh, I mean, I guess what was the uh, what was a nice surprise? What did you like about doing your first movie? Right. And congratulations, by the way. Well, thank you very much. Um, 
I don't know. I don't think there were too many challenges except for me just being, you know, nervous the whole time. <laughs> but I can say this, Roland and Tom and Chuck and the entire crew were very respectful, very professional. So they just made everything really fun and easy um, anyway. And I did already know some of them too from social media. So it was just, you know, just a comfortable environment. Um, it my stuff we shot all day and all night so I guess that was just you know a little tiring but you know that's to be expected uh, in the movie business and now I awesome. now I get to see how it all comes to play and how it all works and I thought that was really interesting so I was just stoked and just nervous and excited <laughs> and all that and that's wrapped cool. up in one <laughs> and now you're on IMDb uh, yes, I. Another yeah. congratulations, and I just want to say I think you have the one of the best lines in the films where you say I like pizza. Um, yeah. If you watched it, you know what I mean. If you haven't, if you haven't watched it yet, you'll know um, when that comes up. That was great. A lot of people say that to me. I'm going to have to get some stickers made or something. Or just a T-shirt <laughs> that has a slice of pizza. A on it. Something, yeah. <laughs> it's so funny because that line it came about because my buddies and I we always like just say random stuff like that to each other just to make each other laugh. <laughs> and so like um Corey's scene was written the the one who says who was in the scene with uh Christy um mm -hmm. Corey Kaufman also our um graphic designer amazing graphic designer mm -hmm. but I was off camera feeding him different lines and so we have like a blooper reel of him saying like a bunch of different one-liners and that's the one that like we all landed on it was funny. awesome that's a perfect <laughs> way to um, wrap that yeah. scene up too <laughs> good choice because everybody says it to me everybody loves it <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We had, ben and I were talking about it. We had to bring it up. Um. <laughs> but that was a that was a rough one with uh, that night with Christy because our plan was because not only being a sponsor, but uh, her first time on film, we wanted to you know we wanted to make it nice for her. So we wanted to roll out the red carpet like you know we got to treat our sponsor. We got to we got to make it real special. And first time on film, she's gonna she's gonna always want to come back to to movies because usually when people get on a movie set, they realize real quick that it's very boring. It's very long hours and it's not <laughs> as uh exciting as it looks um so you really have to do you have, a, have to have a passion for it but she came on one of the the worst days only because it was our longest shoot it was at a location that was uh kind of unknown we didn't get a chance to scout that one because it was an airbnb so we couldn't go ahead of time and look things over and a lot of things changed on the day but it was fun we we pulled it off and she did a great job i i can't wait to work with you again Oh, thank you. Awesome. Yeah, that's very nice. Agreed. So uh, this next question to all three of you, actually, um, you're just saying about turning up on one of the longest days uh, for the shoots and stuff. Is there any time well, you remember the most of um, that you most enjoyed about it? Sorry. Was there any certain days or certain parts that you shot? And that's kind of all to all three of you. I'll let one of you guys answer because for me it's a big blur because I was doing multiple things. But <laughs> I do have a couple. All, he and he was, if he's not lying about that, he was doing like all kinds of stuff. <laughs> and I just watched him do it in one day. <laughs> I was Christie's personal foot warmer at one point because she was freezing. She's like you've seen the movie, so just like she's half naked in the whole film, and she's just like, I'm so cold, but oh, didn't complain whatsoever. Cold. And I'm just like, she's turning blue. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, I'm like sitting on a pillow to try and keep her feet warm. And she's wrapped in a blanket in between takes. Oh my! <laughs> and God. the whole time she's just like, "Wow, y'all are so nice." Fucking <laughs> <laughs> freak, yeah. man! That's so cool. <laughs> Joe, you haven't had a chance to say anything. The bar though. scene. That's what I had fun doing. The bar scene. The bar stuff. scene. When we first got there. Uh, I had fun yeah. doing all that, but I don't know. One. And then I had fun with. with with Corey too doing our little makeout session that was fun <laughs> doing that and controlling him so I don't know it was all fun for me <laughs> it's so funny watching the uh the makeout scene because I don't know if it was intentional because um Corey's happily married I, I don't yeah. know Christy's situation but I'm sure she's very very happy where she is <laughs> but in the in when she's on top of him you can see his hands kind of like getting ready to grab and then he like doesn't <laughs> so i don't know if that was yeah, did intentional not. by the character or if he was just <laughs> super nervous but I, that's one of my favorite parts of that scene where you can see him like <laughs> what, what do i do now <laughs> yeah Corey was fun that's <laughs> awesome joe you got a favorite 
uh, filming day you remember or part? Yeah, um, my favorite had to be the mine scene. I'd never been in one before and always wanted to, especially since I've seen the first film. Uh, it was really, really cold, but I don't know. It was just, it was, uh, it was an experience for sure. I, it's probably my favorite day of filming. So were okay. you, was it in an act? Go ahead, man. No, I was going to say, did I, um, I always think mines look quite creepy. So when you're in there, is it, is it actually creepy in there or? Yeah, no, it is. It's uh, the atmosphere definitely helped you play the part because it, uh, it just it felt real. It was it was cold. It was damp. It was exactly what you'd imagine. And just getting into the mood of uh, wanting to kill someone. I don't know. It just <laughs> it was easy to play. Very easy yeah. to play. So okay. was it was it in an actual mine? Yes, yeah, it, it was. was. Oh, it was wow. in Pi Pioneer Tunnel Mine in Ashland, Pennsylvania. Um, and they were great. You know, we. Cool. we they let us stay longer than we were supposed to. And, you know, um, it, have they watched it, the movie? Have they seen not it? yet, but I am going to go down there in person and give the, uh, the foreman of the mine a copy. Cause I promised him I would, but I would anyway, cause they were great. They treated us good. They, they didn't try and, uh, uh, highball us with, with the price, you know, we negotiated and it worked out good for everybody. And you know, I couldn't be more happy with that location, to be honest with you. Oh, it looked great. Yeah. I, I was, it, yeah, and the final product looks amazing i wasn't sure if it was you know sometimes if it's like a set they'll just like switch the cameras and you keep walking down the same hallway mm -hmm. i wasn't sure if that's what was happening um it looked we really definitely good. made it look a little bit bigger than what it actually was but than it was yeah <laughs> wow, wow. But, uh, i think john and uh, tom did a great job of editing that and shooting that in a way to where it looked yeah looked more expansive than what it was mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So awesome. was the was the bar location pretty close to the the mine, or was that quite far apart? No, completely far. That was a few hours away from each other. But the mine, I mean, I'm sorry, the um the bar and the dance, the dance hall, those were um, in the same location, uh, completely next door to each other, as well as the the police station and the mayor's office. They were next door at an actual police station and mayor's office. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, speaking speaking of the mayor, who's played by Lloyd Kaufman, um, what was it like working with him, and how did you uh, how did you get him to sign on for the project? Lloyd's great. Um, I'll actually let of course, Joe. Awesome. Uh, I'll let Joe uh, take the lead on how we got him, and then I'll I'll do a little anecdote of the drive in from New York where we almost <laughs> killed the famous Lloyd Kaufman. <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's a story. So I knew Lloyd through an ex girlfriend of mine who's in the film. Um, we we're uh, somewhat friends with him. I spoke to him regularly, and uh, Roland mentioned he needed somebody in the film recognizable. So I mentioned Lloyd, and of course he uh, wanted him in the film. And I asked him, and he graciously said yes. He was he's a nice guy. He's so funny. He's great to work with. Um, great human being for sure mm -hmm. yeah I, i've been a big fan of trauma since i was a kid the first movie my mother ever banned me from watching was class of newcomb high she would i would she would always find it in the vcr player and uh, hide it and then i would always find it and put it back in the vcr it was yeah it was a little <laughs> game sounds, like, oh, sounds like a fun story. game yes. i told him that he was like that's great i love it <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's good. Yeah, the Toxic Avenger when I was a kid. That the whole kid yeah. on the bike scene in the head that traumatized me. Yeah, I loved the movie and I couldn't not watch it. You know. Yeah, yeah. We went, so I was um, transportation as well. Like I picked uh, Lloyd Kaufman up from New York as well as uh, Sarah and Joe mm -hmm. um, and Courtney, who's um, she plays the reporter at the end. That's that's uh, our contact with Lloyd. Oh, cool. And we, we were on our way back. And Lloyd, Lloyd's a vegetarian. I don't know if that's well known, but Lloyd is a vegetarian. He's not like, uh, you know, staunch about it, but, you know, he doesn't eat meat. He's uh, and on the way there, there was. Did you mention uh, poultry geist? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> he did give me a eight by ten of uh, him behind the camera for poultry geist, which I have framed on my wall. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Awesome. Um, we were in a three three lane highway and I have a car to my left, car to my right. Yeah. I'm in the center lane and the car to the left hits this 
deer, which <laughs> makes the deer go into my lane. And I can't swerve to the left. I can't swerve to the right because then I'll be boxed in by, by these cars. So I had to make a split second decision of whether or not I was going to swerve somehow, do some kind of quick maneuver, or if I was just going to grip my teeth and go through it. And all, all you see, oh all you God. hear is <laughs> this deer as uh, Lloyd Kaufman oh, <laughs> is in the back seat and Joe's in the front seat with me. And I'm trying not, I'm trying to play it cool at this point because I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> you know? Never let and, that uh, down. <laughs> and uh, um, uh, Courtney, she's it's like, oh, no, the deer. And and Joe's like, oh, that's terrible. And then Lloyd's like, ah, he was dead before he hit it. It's fine. <laughs> 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 and I'm oh. like, Phew, thankfully. So yeah, thank God. No one I, I got us there safe, but like maybe five minutes down the road, I'm thinking, oh, I'm in the clear. It's like he's gonna be cool about it. It's it's whatever. You know, we're we're safe. And I look over and I see Joe with his head in his hands. I'm like, what's wrong, man? And he goes, I can't believe you hit that deer like that. <laughs> and I'm just like <laughs> Way to rub it in there, buddy. I thought we were going to die. I thought that was the end. <laughs> but I traumatized him That's before he even got on set. Oh, no, he, he's, cool. he's a class act, man. And he came in knowing his lines inside and out. He, he ad-libbed a lot of lines. He did his own thing. And uh, he actually wanted to stay, like, because I had to get him back in New York for a specific time to be back to set um, for, the, for the next shoot. Um, so the whole time I'm like looking at the clock, trying to be a you know a good producer and not have my assistant director yell at me for for time. But uh, he was just like, "Oh, let's do another one. Let's let's go again. Let's hey, how about we do this?" And I'm like, "Yeah, that's great. Let's let, let's get it." And Tom's like, "Oh, dude, we got him. Let's uh, let's use him, dude. Let's go for it." Yes, yes. <laughs> so he didn't want to leave. He just wanted to keep filming. <laughs> I love the final scene with him too. Um, yeah. But anyway, Ben, I'll, I'll kick it over to you. Um, great, great answer, great story. Thank you for sharing. Awesome. It's a good story. <laughs> it is it's awesome. Um, Christy, you, you always uh, do a lot of posts on Instagram, and a lot of them are my bloody Valentine's posts. How exciting was it to be in a movie dedicated to the film? I know, right? Uh, yeah, I was totally in when Tom messaged me and was like in asked me to be a sponsor first and I'm like yeah of course because it hadn't been done you know we have a lot of Myers and Jason fan films and stuff and I I'm the type of person I like to do something different and this was different and I love my bloody valentine it's it's one of my favorite slashers um so yeah I was totally in and then it was like a week later then they're like hey you want to be in the movie <laughs> yeah of course I want to be in the movie Are you kidding That's me? so cool <laughs> yeah i'm a huge fan so i was totally in the second he said it was a my bloody valentine fan film yes oh, yes cool. <laughs> awesome. awesome i have a, a question for all three of you i guess um so watching the film first of all it, it's very it's fun entertaining and it seems like you're all having fun while making the movie yeah. um was that just acting or were you also having a good time making the film I guess more of like a behind, I was having behind the scenes question. You were I having really, fun, Christy? Yeah, yeah I yeah. was really having fun the whole time. And I don't like water. Ah, My dad okay. got changed. So they said, well, we're going to drown you. And I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> and, you know, I, and I told them, I was like, Spoiler you know, alert. I'm not a water person, but I don't <laughs> care. You know, I'll do whatever I got to do for the movie. I don't care about that. And I know nothing's going to happen. I mean, it's just a bathtub and everybody's around. So, I, you know, it didn't bother me. Right. But yeah, I told them that and everybody's like, uh oh, <laughs> I'm like, it's fine. Let's just see it. <laughs> but yeah, I had fun. Cool. Yeah. How about um, you, Joe? Joe and Roland, what do you think? Well, I had a great time filming it. Um, there's it's just something special about being in a movie and filming it. And uh, it's it's so much fun. But this one in particular, being such a big fan of the genre, and being able to work with my best friend and everything. Um, and it's one of those few times where you're on set and you literally get along with everybody. And uh, it's just a loose, fun atmosphere. It was, uh, it was a blast, honestly. I, I was, 
I had a great time when it was wrapped because <laughs> because you could, it's, you could it's exhale different. at that point. <laughs> it's different from my perspective, only because um, when you when you're just an actor coming in, you you get uh you get to take things in a little bit more. But when you're one of the filmmakers, there's so much going on that you have to take care of at a moment's notice, or you have to think about. A million different things at once you know what i mean so my time really was spent 24 7 trying to make sure that the uh the train stayed on the wheels you know what i mean make sure that we didn't go off track and um just trying to keep everything going and uh try and stay positive at the same time because um when you see the captains of the ship starting to get nervous or starting to get uh, a little irritated that's when you know it trickles down so you you have to constantly uh, put your best foot forward and be a good example and be a good leader for your team, you know? It sounds stressful, but also <laughs> rewarding at the same time. Yeah. Now, one, one of my favorites uh, was was literally when we wrapped and uh, Liz, Elizabeth Saldariga, an amazing assistant director, an amazing woman, known her for many years. And uh, she just said, you know, she she saw like, she saw wash over me and it's like fuck we finally finished you know and she's like listen she's like you did something that not many people can do at the end of the day you're going to have a, a feature film at the end of this you should be really proud of yourself that's awesome and, yes you know stuff like that and it just gives you a little bit of reminder of why you do it you know yeah i second that um mm -hmm. i do have one more question but ben do you i want to give you I'm a just chance gonna to ask, um, as there are a few uh, killings in this film which are quite awesome a few, got, yeah. I, I won't I won't say which one if just in case people haven't seen it but there is a, a death in that that is really good but um I was just wanted to ask how intimidating was the miners outfit when you had to film with it because it was an uh, it was really really good um costume and well done with that it was very authentic yeah yeah so I'd just like to uh, ask how intimidating it actually was when filming with it. Well, I don't know about for these guys, but I know Sarah Shoes. She's the the curly redhead. She plays Peter's girlfriend in the film. Yep. She thought it was sexy. Her husband was even on set, but she was just like, I don't know what it is, but there's that's so hot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how they felt about Second it. But, uh, that's a great answer. <laughs> it, it definitely, it definitely made Chuck uh, puff his chest up a little bit. He's like, "Oh, I wish my wife would say that." <laughs> <laughs> that's a good question, Ben. <laughs> um, well, the last question I have is essentially for those who haven't seen it, what would you say to anyone watching um, to convince them to go over to YouTube and watch it? That's a tough one uh, tough one just, <laughs> you know just have fun with it if you're even if you're not a fan of uh the original my bloody valentine mm -hmm. um if you're a fan of horror in general or independent filmmaking in general it's a good exercise to see what people can do on a very limited budget with limited resources um you know what i mean we had a lot of obstacles in our way some that we've talked about before some that we keep private um just for out of respect for other people um, okay but it was it was challenging. It was fun. And, you know, at the end of the day, we we had something that we can all be proud of. I think that was what I was most nervous about because I've done so many, so many low budget things where it's just like either it never sees the light of day or it's or it's mm -hmm. or I'm just not happy with it and just being frustrated of not having something I can be proud of. And I got to do something with my friends and with new friends. And and, you know, at the end of the day, I'm, I'm happy with what we came up with. Awesome. Yeah, and like like I said, it seems like the, you were having fun making it, even mm -hmm. if there was some stressful yeah. moments. <laughs> and indie horror is coming back, man. It's like Terrifier is a big, uh, oh, definitely a, a big oh, scene yeah. of that. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, that started out as a short film that um, mm -hmm. became a crowdfunding movie and got a little call following, and now it's a multi-million dollar grossing film in theaters. You know, it's it's crazy. Yeah. You know, and a lot of the horror movies that have been coming out as of late have been really good, like Pearl or um, Barbarian. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. I thought those movies, I'm a big Ty West fan. I, I love those movies. Well, and even and the I think films, it's only going to get better. Yep. The films you get from Shudder. I mean, thank God we have Shudder. There's so many awesome films on there. Yeah. Uh, there's a 
there's a little film called Slap Faced. Uh, yes. Yeah, Slap Faced. Um, yeah, right. yeah. Um, he's yeah. actually a filmmaker from New York that um, Joe and I know. Joe's worked with him in the past. He was actually a stunt double for Tom Savini in one of his films. Um, oh, wow. Cool. What, what's what's uh, the filmmaker's name again, Joe? I can't remember off the top of my head. It's Jeremiah Kip. Jeremiah Kip, yes. Yeah, um, I worked with him a lot. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, that was a yeah, great his film is on um, Shutter and it's, you know, it's really good and he made that years ago and it took that long to get it onto to a get it out. Yeah. Wow. Wow. It does take a while. It is a process that people don't realize. They think, you know, you just film it for a couple of weeks and then all of a sudden it's out there. No, there's there's a long process behind yeah, the scenes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and that, mean, Go ahead, man. Sorry. No, I was going to say it was the same with um I remember the paranormal activity, the first one. It obviously got changed around the ending and stuff, but that was sort of done the the rounds for a while before it even hit the cinema. I remember seeing the original curtain and stuff. So yeah, it mm -hmm. made a lot of money, like the Blair Witch Project. Um, yeah. But before I forget, Shutter Caveat is one of our favorites. Open twenty four mm -hmm. hours. Um, Sun was really good too. Uh, just a few that come to mind. Um, so now we're going to ask a few questions that are sort of connected to uh, the film, but but not necessarily. Um, if you could do a, a fan film for any other franchise, what would you do next? Hmm. Nightmare on Elm Street, without question. Oh, cool. Nice. Bummer Party fun. Massacre. Um, yeah, that's a good choice. How was the remake? I didn't see it. Oh, God. <laughs> No. <laughs> okay, we'll, move, <laughs> we'll move, move on from there. No. I probably do. I probably do the intruder. Oh, oh, yeah. oh that's good it's, choice. It's the, the, the grocery yeah. store one. That that's one. one of my favorite ones. The uh, the saw scene. Um, I yes. love that that kill. Yes. Um, there's and a couple I, out there. I, I love I the um, I love the phone scene where the camera is shooting up through the old rotary phone. Yeah. yeah. Right. That was really well done. Go ahead. That's I another. I'm sorry. It's a, no, it's another underrated one that you know. A lot of people uh, forget or sleep on, but it's one of my favorites personally. That's a great film. Yeah. Ben and I have talked about doing a video where we um, talk about slashers or 80s horror movies that deserved a sequel but never got one. Mm. And that would be on the list. Yeah. Definitely. Did, did it have a sequel? I don't think it did. Mm. I don't think I don't think so, no. Yeah. Okay. But I'll ask, did you like the remake of My Bloody Valentine? Or was that... I did. Yeah. I did. I've, I've, yeah, I see that before the original, but I kind of think the original has got its own mm -hmm. charm. And oh yeah, definitely, for sure. I like. I like. I like, I like the remake. I thought it did what it needed to do. I saw it in theaters. Um, I'm not old enough to see the uh, the original My Bloody Valentine in theaters, but I did see uh, the 2009 remake in theaters. Um, I enjoyed them both for for what they are. Um, the, mm -hmm. the first one, the 81, it's always going to have a special place in my heart. But uh, I did enjoy the 2009 remake, and a lot of, and believe it or not, some people actually think that that's the one that we're doing a fan film of. Yeah. It, sometimes people don't realize that. Oh wait, there's a My Bloody Valentine from 1981. There's, they think yes, <laughs> that the fan yes. film is from the 2009 remake. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Was you a fan of the remake or? Yeah, I liked it. I saw it in theaters in 3D, and I'm a fan of 3D movies, so. Yeah, I liked it for what it was, for sure. I think it was one of the first times that they utilized 3D correctly that I remember, because I used to hate 3D movies. It used to give me a headache. I just thought it wasn't done well. But then, like, um, then that one came around, and I was like, wow, this is actually really good. And uh, it came around the same time as the Friday the 13th remake, which I also really enjoyed. I thought that was a cool take on Jason being, like, a survivalist and mm -hmm. having these underground chambers and stuff. Like, I thought it was cool. Yeah, yeah, I liked it, it too. It was 3D <laughs> step forward then. <laughs> yeah. I remember walking out, because I saw it in the theater too, I remember walking out and thinking, that was like 3D like I've never seen before. That was right? amazing, right? Yeah. It sounds like you had the same experience. Because I, I feel like a lot of the times is that they, it's a, like a marketing or a quick money grab, right? Like they, they film the movie how they originally intended. And then after the fact, they'll be like, oh, let's do it in 3D. When, you know, when you do it that way, it's really, it doesn't really transpose correctly, you know? Right, 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 right. Yeah. Um, Friday the 13th, part three, 3D is pretty cool too. The spear, mm. the spear gun. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so uh, Ben and I planned something fun. 
we have quotes from horror movies that have a love theme associated with them. Um, so what we're going to do is read out the quote, and then uh, we'll let you uh, try to guess, and we'll give you hints to uh, help you out. So Ben, I'll Chris, go first. Uh, Christy's going to crush this one. Watch. I don't know. I'm not good with quotes. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> I'm terrible we'll on the see. spot. And but, this could right. com completely on, bomb, completely bomb, but we'll see. Um, okay, the first one. <clears throat> I almost said the movie. Uh, I'm okay. I'm an insect who dreamt he was a man and loved it, but now the dream is over and the insect is awake. The fly. Why? There you go. So yeah. we started out with an easy. So you said an insect. I was like, that's got to be a fly. Of course. See, <laughs> see, we didn't want to make it. a great movie. We didn't want to make it too <laughs> yeah. difficult. Yes. Yeah. The Cronenberg. Yeah. The practical the effects of that are amazing. That's, yeah. Right, right. Right. And we chose that because of the love connection between gold. gold I pick blue. up what you're putting down. Oh, yeah, right. Right. You got it. You got it. Okay. Cool. So, um, I also nearly read the film. Um, <laughs> Julie. <laughs> Julie, are you eating him? You should stop. Oh, that's uh, Night of the Living Dead Part Three. It is, yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, wow. One of my good that that character. Oh, so I don't know about you guys, but I'm a big nostalgia person, and mm. like yeah. I loved going to the video store and just looking at the box art for the VHSs and the posters. Yeah. And Night of the Living Dead Part Three was one of my favorite like uh cover the howling was another one as well i love that poster oh yeah but uh That's i had cool. such a huge crush on julie from night of the living dead i was like she's a punk rock babe i love her <laughs> the, the <laughs> red hair yeah yeah, yeah. If, it, if any woman is gonna slay me in a movie i would i would love it to be her <laughs> <laughs> um okay back to me uh this one's a little bit more difficult uh cuddle me play with me chucky Nope, but it's a killer <laughs> killer doll, fairly new. Annabelle? No. Megan. Megan. Oh yeah, yeah. No, no. This no. one's tough. It begins with B. Boy. Looks like, looks Boy? like El Elmo. I don't know what that uh is. Benny loves you. That was a tough one. Oh, oh I, have, I haven't I seen that one. Yeah, I didn't see that either. Oh, you should check it out. It's so funny. It's like this killer little doll that looks like Elmo. And it says that ben on... Benny loves you. Is that on Shutter? Uh, I'm not sure. I haven't I've heard about it, but I haven't watched it. No. I have it right here. Hold on. I'll check it out. I have the bees behind me. The bees. Oh, I'm, I'm like no, I don't, I don't know that one. I'll check it out. Oh, it's so good. I've seen it like four or five times. It's really funny. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. So that was a tough one. I do like puppets. I think they're kind of like, they, they can be very creepy. So, well, the guy is a collector and he decides he's going to, he's too old to be collecting all this stuff. So he starts to throw everything away. And then the Benny doll comes alive and starts killing people. So he's mm. like, Benny, you have to stop killing people. And he, he there's one, anyway, watch it. I think you'll like it. It's really good. <laughs> ben, right. back to you. That one kind of bombed. <laughs> <laughs> I have crossed the oceans of time to find you. Do you believe in destiny? Yes, Aaron, I have skipped because my phone froze then. <laughs> oh, you froze? Yeah, no, I'm back now, but it, I just asked that because I was on that question. So. Okay, go ahead with that one, and I'll jump back to the others. Can you say it again, though? Yeah, I have crossed the oceans of time to find you. Do you believe in destiny? Oh, it sounds like a, a Daniel Day-Lewis quote. I will find you! <laughs> oh, I will find you! <laughs> I don't uh, know. That's from uh, Dracula, the Bram Stokers. Oh. oh, I just watched that recently too. I'm such oh, a nerd. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I need to rewatch. I haven't seen that one in a while. What a loser! It's been a minute since I've watched that, so I didn't know either. <laughs> oh, oh man! Speaking of uh, practical effects, that movie is amazing. What what they were able to accomplish so in good. camera. It's yes. so ahead of its time. I Completely. love it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, this one's back to me. Um, if you've seen this, I think you'll know it. So they lit her on fire. They were weirdo, hippie types, whole bunch of them. And then there was some muscle. It didn't make any sense. There were bikers and gnarly psychos and crazy evil. Nicholas Cage. Oh, Ghost Rider? Nope. Oh. Uh, Vampire's Kiss. Mandy? Did someone say Mandy? Oh, Mandy. 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 Yeah, yeah. Man, Mandy. Because remember what that, that, what that I saw cult, that in theaters. That what was the cult does to his girlfriend. 
It's so hard, Aaron. I'm sorry. I tried to make it easy. <laughs> All right. Why don't you? Easy either. Sorry. The next one's kind of easy. We only got a few more. Um, go ahead, Ben. You pick one. I think we have three left. Okay. I'm going to leave you with, because it's one of your favorite films, so you'll know what one you can have. Uh, I'll go with this one. Okay. The Undead Surround Me. Have you ever talked to a corpse? It's boring. I'm lonely. Kill yourself, David, before you kill others. Oh, that's uh, uh, London? American Werewolf in yes. uh, yeah, yeah. London. Yeah, yeah. London. Yeah. We, we I almost said this. Paris. <laughs> yeah, no, no, don't say that one. We threw that one in because it's like a horror <laughs> comedy and then like a love story with him. And, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's a great Paris. movie. Um, well, Dave, okay. you can Two more. Here we go. I, uh, I like the one when he's in the back of the truck where he's like, hello, ladies. <laughs> or thanks, <hey>. ladies. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, this one I think is easy. Yes, ma'am. Two of my men pulled you out of the lake. We thought you were dead too. Do you remember very much? Uh, Friday thirteen. Yes. Yeah. Mother, <laughs> mother, son, love. We threw that yeah. one in. Damn, I'm That's good at this game. Yes. There you go. <laughs> Except for the 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 oddballs that you're throwing out. Like I never would have guessed Mandy. That was a good one. You guys are doing really good, actually. <laughs> I think, yeah, 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 you are. The last one's kind of tough. Go ahead, Ben. I'll let you take it. I will. But, you know, I've never seen this film. So, <laughs> so you wouldn't have known either. <laughs> no. I'm 12, but I've been 12 for a long time. Oh, that's uh, Orphan. Close. Yeah, it's close. There's a vampire element. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, let me let the right one in. That's it. Yes. Yeah, oh, you yeah. guys got it. Good job. What is that like? Six out of eight. That's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Cool. Well, thank you guys for joining us. I do want to ask um, Roland and Joe. You guys are both professional wrestlers at one point. Can you say a little bit about that? Because how amazing is that? <laughs> well, you got It's in Joe's uh, rider to introduce him accordingly. So you gotta. You gotta go. Uh, the the man of the hour, too sweet to be sour. What you see is what you get, and what you don't is even better. The ladies pick the man's regret. He is the slick Joe Quick. Oh my God, that's awesome! That's awesome. Yeah. Very good. Oh, <laughs> of the crop, Daddy. Incredible. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you answer, Joe. How Maybe we, we uh, leave it at that? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, go ahead. No, no, it's cool. Yeah. Go ahead, Joe. <laughs> yeah, no problem. I I trained in New York with the Amazing Red. Um, I was fortunate enough to be in the business for six years. I traveled all over. I loved every second of it, and uh, I miss it. It was it was one of the best things I dealt in my life. Very cool. Uh, yeah, that yeah. was so cool to be there. Yeah, that's um, so awesome. You're the first uh, former professional wrestlers we've ever had on. Really? Oh, man, there's a lot of them in the as community. As far as I know. Yeah. There's a, it's funny how horror and professional wrestling, like, are so, yeah. Mm -hmm. there, there's a lot of professional wrestlers who are either in horror or um, have some kind of connection to it, which I was surprised about. Um, huh. But, yeah, they're out there. Cool. Cool. No. Let's see. Um, can you... Also, uh, I'm ending, sorry, I was going to say, I'm ending that video, this video with that roller. <laughs> <laughs> with that that was amazing i'm going um, on the end yeah <laughs> <laughs> can you guys uh quickly let everybody know how they can find you on social media or how they can contact you if you want to share that yeah um so you can find me with uh, i'm usually on instagram i like the stories so i do uh row row re row one two three that's my personal one but i also handle the valentine bluffs twitter uh facebook instagram all that stuff um, you can find us on there, Valentine Bluffs, and uh, also promoting a new film as well with Steve Merlo, um, speaking of, called Unseen, the which Unseen. is currently funding yes, on Unseen. Indiegogo. So go check that out. And a great cast, too. You guys are yeah. really Felissa cool. Rose, Brett Wagner. Oh, yeah. Very cool. I just had Brett at the store not too long ago. And he used, nice to, wrestle. And he used yeah. to wrestle. Yep. Yeah, right? Like, we're all over. <laughs> yep. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Go ahead, um, Christy. Oh, you want me to go? Mine's a long speech. 
but I got it. <laughs> Nightmare Go Toys. It. You can find Nightmare Toys on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and make sure you follow our YouTube channel and watch Nightmare Podcast live with Christy every Wednesday and the Deadly Destination show every Monday. And then you can find myself, Nightmare Christy, on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, OnlyFans, Lowell Fans, and Minivids. <laughs> wow. It's like Love you've it. done that before. That was amazing. <laughs> that, was her, that was her wrestling promo. <laughs> You would make a great, uh, you would make a great um, ballet doing, bringing guys to the ring and like doing your little announcer. Thing. I can do it. That'd be good. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, how about you? That was cool. Uh, mine's pretty short, just on Facebook, Facebook Messenger. Used to have a lot of other things, but got rid of them through the years. Too much Joe's time. the tortured ar- artist, so he's the Can I say quiet something? one. <laughs> so yeah, Joe... I used to live in Alabama, right? Well, I lived in Hazel Green, Alabama, and I lived off of Joe Quick Road. Oh, wow. Really? There's a road. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's cool. So you have a road in Hazel Green, Alabama. That's I so went, random. Yep. Joe Quick Road. That's hilarious. I, I went to the University of Alabama, my undergraduate. Oh, cool. Tuscaloosa. Roll Tide. <laughs> Yep, roll tide. Roll tide. Um, <laughs> all right. Well, this has been amazing. Thank you for joining us. Uh, if you are watching and there's anything you'd like us to cover in a future video, um, add a comment and we will consider it. Yep. Go to Instagram. Um, follow us over there. Like our posts if you want to. Um, and sub to the YouTube channel because it helps us. Thanks for watching. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Appreciate Thanks. it. Thank you. And thank you, guys, for coming on. Yeah. Thank you.